This video will cover task 2-4 of the RMF, Security Plan Approval. This is the last task of step 2. This task, like other tasks in step 2, aligns with the initiation step of the SDLC and is part of the select step of the RMF. The roles responsible for this step are the authorizing official or the authorizing official's designated representative. These roles are supported by the risk executive function, the chief information officer, and the senior information security officer. This task is a counterbalance to the system owner's development of the SSP and the SCTM. In this task, organizational officials review the SSP and the SCTM to ensure they're complete and accurate and comply with the organizational risk objectives. The AO or AO the AO or AODR do not do this by themselves. They get support from the Senior Information Security Officer, the Chief Information Officer, and the Risk Executive Function that will help them determine if the plan is complete, consistent, it satisfies the stated selected security requirements for the information system, and that the security plan correctly and effectively identifies the potential risk to organizational operations and assets, individuals, other organizations and the nation that would be incurred if the controls identified in the plan were implemented as intended. This task is essentially a review of your work to ensure that you covered all the bases you needed to cover and that the plan is accurate and can be implemented and if it's implemented it will meet the security needs of the organization. Once it's been reviewed the AO or the AODR will determine acceptance of the SSP and SCTM. If the security plan or SCTM are deemed to be unacceptable, the AO or AODR will send the plan back to the information system owner or common control provider in the case of common controls for the appropriate corrective actions. However, if the security plan is deemed acceptable, the authorizing official or designated rep will approve the plan by approving the security plan, the authorizing official or authorizing official's designated representative agree to the set of security controls in the SCTM that are proposed to meet the security requirements for the information system. By approving the SSP, the AO or AODR are approving the way the information system owner is planning on implementing the controls and the control set selected. The approval of the security plan also establishes the level of effort required to successfully complete the remainder of the steps in the RMF and provides the basis for the security specification for the acquisition of the information system, subsystems, and components. In essence, when the AO or the AODR approves the SSP and the SCTM, they're informing the information system owner that it is acceptable to begin acquisition and building of the information system. In summary, in this video, we have discussed the SDLC alignment with this task, the responsibility for this task, explained independent review, AO acceptance, and SSP approval. If you like this video, be sure to click on the thumbs up and comment below. Subscribe to the Cyber Recon channel and click the bell to be notified when we publish new videos. This video is part of the Cyber Recon RMF lab and training environment. Like all the training provided by Cyber Recon, our RMF training is built on the principle of multimodal training. Multimodal training exposes the student to training concepts in different ways, including learning games, video interaction, practice quizzes, instructor interaction, and hands-on experience in an environment that simulates working through the RMF in a real organization. This training also includes an updated RMF book and lab guide. Want to try out multimodal training for yourself? Click on the link on the right for a no-obligation trial of this training experience, including access to all of the multimodal training for Step 1 of the Risk Management Framework training program.